In this video, we will cover some things that you need to know before you begin operating a Vermeer Walk Behind Pedestrian Trencher. This information is covered in the Rental Center Guide, available from your rental associate and vermeer.com safety. This information is not intended to replace the operator's manual. Before running any machine, please read and understand the machine's operator's manual located on the machine. Study all of the safety signs on the machine. Study the safety practices on the Rental Center Guide. If you are unsure of any information in the manual or on the machine, ask your rental associate to assist you. If at any time you see something wrong with the machine, stop and contact your rental associate for assistance. Never operate any machine that you don't believe is in good working order. Please follow the next steps to understand how to properly set up your job site for the Vermeer Walk Behind Pedestrian Trencher. One of the first steps is to make sure you check out the job site and mark off your proposed excavation area. From there, you will want to call 811 for your local one-call system in your area to request the location of all underground utilities. Also, make sure to contact any utilities that may not subscribe to OneCall. All utilities in these areas must be marked and avoided. In addition to OneCall, be mindful of any permits or if traffic control is needed. Once you are ready to work, you will need to wear protective equipment when on the job site and operating the machine. This includes wearing a hard hat, safety shoes, hearing, and eye protection. If you will be working near traffic, you will need to wear reflective clothing that satisfies your local regulations. Before starting the work, make sure to check for and stay away from steep slopes, banks, overhangs, drop-offs, and trenches which can cave in. You can refer to the safety signs on the machine and in the operator's manual, combined with your own good judgment when identifying operating hazards and avoidance measures. The last step before you begin operating your pedestrian trencher is to be sure that the trench cleaner assembly or restraint bar is in place on the trencher boom when you begin digging. These will help protect you against accidental personal contact with the digging chain. You are now ready to begin the work. Please watch the next section on machine startup and shutdown. After you are equipped with the appropriate PPE and properly set up your job site, you will want to make sure to check all of the machine fluid levels and condition of air cleaner before starting the machine. Once those are taken care of, you will place propel and digging chain drive levers in neutral. Then fully close the choke. If necessary, you may have to open the fuel shutoff valve. Then move the throttle to about quarter speed. If your unit is a recoil start, you will push the off-on switch to the on position. Then you can pull the rope to start. If your unit is an electric start, turn the key position to on to start the machine. Let the engine warm up. After the engine starts and has had time to warm up, you can gradually open the choke and reduce the throttle to idle. Once the work is done and you are ready to shut down, you will place the propel and digging chain levers in neutral. Reduce the engine speed to idle. Push the on-off switch for the recoil start or turn the key to off position if it is an electric start. If your machine is equipped with a fuel shutoff valve, be sure to close that as well. You are now ready to watch the section on operation. You are ready to begin operating your Vermeer Walk Behind Pedestrian Trencher. Keep spectators and other workers away from the machine and work area. Once you have started up your pedestrian trencher, you will want to disengage the digging chain. Fully raise the trencher boom when driving and not digging a trench. Pull up the red operator presence lever on the left handlebar. Then you can use the propel lever to begin moving the machine slowly. Use a suitable speed for the terrain and never allow riders on the machine. As you are moving, you can pivot the handlebars to steer. The rear of the machine will rotate in the direction of where you push. The machine will counter-rotate if the propel lever is in neutral. Once you arrive at the beginning of where you will open up your trench, you will want to line the machine up. If equipped with a trench cleaner, be sure to follow the shutdown procedure to shut the engine off to raise and secure the trench cleaner. Restart the machine, then pull the red operator presence lever and set your throttle to full RPM. 
With the digging chain drive engaged in forward, lower the trencher boom slowly to the desired digging depth. Be cautious when lowering the boom. If you do this too quickly, it will result in excessive boom and machine bounce. A small amount of backward ground travel during the plunge cut may help to reduce the boom and machine bounce. Remember, the trencher will stop anytime the operator presence lever is released. If using trench cleaner, stop the digging chain after the initial plunge cut. Raise the trencher boom until the chain is out of ground. Shut off the machine and remove the key. Then you can release the trench cleaner, restart your machine and engage digging chain in forward and lower trencher boom to your desired digging depth. For the best productivity, Use rearward ground travel speed when the required trench depth has been reached. Use your handlebar steering controls to maintain trenching direction. You are now ready to watch the section on transportation. You can use the following steps to understand how to transport your Vermeer walk-behind pedestrian trencher. Before transporting the machine with a trailer, you must read the trailer manual for safety precautions and loading information. Ensure the gross weight of the machine, including attachments, is within the gross weight limits of the trailer and the towing vehicle. Before taking the trailer and machine on the road, clean the machine to keep all debris off the highway. Fully raise the trencher boom and position the machine in line with the trailer ramps. Make sure to set the throttle to half speed. From the ground, drive the machine squarely onto the trailer and stop when you have reached the tie-down point. Once you are on the trailer, place the propel lever in neutral and lower the boom to the trailer bed. Shut off the engine and remove the key or turn off the fuel valve. Turning the fuel valve off will prevent the engine from flooding. It is important to make sure the machine is secured to the trailer using the standard tie-down procedures with one in front and two rear tie-down points. Once you have reached your destination, reverse the procedure to unload the machine from the trailer.